हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सैट मंत्रा वेलकम टू अवर डेली डोज ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चन टू एनरोल इन अवर कोर्स कैंडली विजिट सी सैट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्सेप्ट कैंडली ज्वाइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इन ए ग्रुप ऑफ फिफ्टीन पीपुल सेवन कैन रीड फ्रेंच एट कैन रीड इंग्लिश वाइल थ्री ऑफ देम कैन रीड नईदर ऑफ दीज टू लैंग्वेजेस द नंबर ऑफ पीपुल हू कैन रीड Exactly one language is. This question is from Set Theory chapter. It is asked in 2019 this year. From Set Theory, every year you can expect two to three questions, my friends. Okay, most of the logical reasoning questions are based on Set Theory concepts. In Set Theory problems, I have told wherever possible, kindly make use of Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams will make your life simpler, my friends. Okay. This rectangle is a sample space. Total number of people, okay, fifteen. Now, in these fifteen people, there are few people who read French. This blue color circle. There are few people who read English. Pink color circle. There are few people who read. Neither of these two languages. That is this area, my friends. Okay, outside of these two circles. Okay. Now it is given that. Three of them can read neither of these two languages. That means this green color area is three. Now this area, okay, this white color area will be fifteen minus three, my friends. Okay, that is twelve. So there are twelve people who read French or English. Now, if you pay attention, this area will be the people who read only French, my friends. Okay, this area will be the people who read. Only English, my friends. Okay, only English. This area will be people who read both French and English because it is the intersection. It is the common part of French and English circles, my friends. Okay, this is clear, right? Now we have a number of people who read French or English. Okay, this total area, my friends. Okay, that is equal twelve. Number of people who read French is seven. It is given. Number of people who read English is eight. It is also given. We want number of people who read French and English, my friends. Okay. We have a formula for n of f union e in set theory. N of f union e is equal to n of f plus n of e minus n of F intersection E. N of A union B is N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B formula, my friends. Okay, so twelve is equal to seven plus eight minus N of F intersection E. Now this is twelve is equal to fifteen minus N of F intersection E. From this I can write N of F intersection E as fifteen minus twelve that is equal to three. So we have n of f intersection E as three, my friends. Okay, this the people who read both French and English. Now the people who read French. Okay, this total circle is seven. Now this part will be seven minus three, my friends. Okay, four. Now the people who read English. This circle is eight. Now this part will be eight minus three. Okay, that is five. So this area is the people who read only French. This area is the people who read only English. Now we want the people who can read exactly one language. That is only French plus okay only English, my friends. Okay, four plus five that is equal to nine. So our answer is B. Very simple problem, my friends. Sample space, total number of people. Okay, this rectangle is given. That is fifteen, and it is said that three of them can read neither of these two languages. That is, okay, this green color area, my friends. Okay, now n of f union e will be fifteen minus three. That is twelve, and we have also given number of people who read French and number of people who read English. From n of f union e formula, we can find out n of f intersection e. That is this area that is equal three. Now number of people who read only French that is seven minus three, my friends. Okay, four. Number of people who read only English eight minus three. Okay, you have to subtract this area from this one, right? 
so that is five now number of people who can read exactly one language will be the people who read only french plus only english that is four plus five that is equal to nine we have solved these kind of problems in our set theory lecture kindly go through it we have solved problems involving three sets also okay in those kind of problems questions will be like number of people who can read exactly two languages okay otherwise number of people who can read exactly one language so problems will be like this we have solved them in our lecture kindly go through it to know more about the course kindly visit csatmantra.com for course or concept related queries kindly message at our telegram number or mail at this email id thank you